You know these little plastic valve guides that we find on all sorts of different brands? They come in euphoniums and tubas. Well, sometimes they don't always fit the way you want them to. You would think they would, but they don't. So today we're gonna to show you how to do it. So what we do is we put the valve guide on the instrument and stick it in the instrument and actually try to take a pencil mark and mark out where the depth of that valve guide is. Then you just use a hand file, a little small flat file like this, and sand off what you need to. What you're trying to do is keep it really square and clean because sometimes the edges get fuzzy. Then after you're done, you stick it back in the instrument and see if it fits. You notice how that one's still a little tight, so we have to actually take off just a little bit more. And then try it in the instrument again. And as you see, that one's close, but it's still dragging a little bit heavier than I would want it to. So we're going to take it back out and take off just a little bit more. That's better. Now, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to remount this instrument. So we put a good heavy key oil uh, on the threads, remount the instrument, and then sometimes like this instrument needs to have a little bit of uh, modifications to the way the valve stem works. So we just kind of pound that around because the valve stem has been bent. We want to make sure it works right up and down just right. And then we check the alignment of the ports, make sure, making sure that the top cap and the felt at uh, the valve stem is set at the right height to allow the air to flow through the instrument the way we want to. Once you have that set, repeat it on all the pistons, and install the instrument. Now I've also gone through and replaced the valve guides on all on two and three as well, or on, on one and three as well, and have made those modifications off camera. And that's it. Put it all together and you can replace any valve guide at any time, guys.